23-year-old Danielle Brooks can now live on her own, attend grad school, and even travel internationally, all thanks to her service dog, Rolo. He helps Danielle manage sleep disorders, including cataplexy, which can cause her to suddenly collapse. After laughing with friends in the driveway, I got a concussion, and that was kind of the final straw for me of accepting that I needed more help than just medication. Rolo tunes into Danielle so closely, he can actually sense an impending episode. So he'll tell me before that, or tell me that my heart rate's getting too high, so I need to rest and take a break and sit down. Before Rolo came on board, Danielle feared how narcolepsy, which suddenly causes her to fall asleep, prevented her from living independently. Oh, what if I fall asleep on the bus and miss my stop? Now, Rolo can wake Danielle up when she just nods off and if she sleeps through her alarm. He also picks things up for her and even opens the door, which helps save energy throughout the day. He also can, like, unload and load things into the washing machine if I really want to take a lot of time, but he hasn't figured out how to fold the clothes yet. Dogs perform important work in the world of medicine, and the number of jobs they do continues to grow. Turns out certain canines can handle just about anything. Nobody knows that better than Maria Goodavich. As a researcher, she documents cutting-edge examples in her book, Dr. Dogs, how our best friends are becoming our best medicine. Well, I love seeing the dog-human bond, but when dogs save lives, there's just nothing like it. Whitley here can warn Clay 20 minutes before his devices indicate low blood sugar that could possibly put Clay into a diabetic coma. When anxiety overcomes Kit, her dog Angus can calm her down and prevent an overwhelming situation. Hank helps Molly manage schizoaffective disorder by helping her determine whether the people she sees and hears are actually there. That just by him being a dog, a friendly dog who greets everybody, anybody, then he can help her separate reality from these horrible hallucinations just because Hank isn't saying hi. Dr. Dogs are trained using positive reinforcements. They're motivated to learn with toys, treats, and praise. These techniques allow dogs to learn brand new ways of communicating with humans, such as activating their talking vests. Please follow me. And 911 touchscreen technology. Sky, go get help. Excellent. Believe it or not, dogs can actually smell sickness, like Sugar here, who's going around the wheel, sniffing out the T-shirt worn by a person with Parkinson's disease. This dog scours a hospital, locating the presence of deadly superbugs, such as C. diff, which no human or machine can readily detect. And in a Japanese community with a high rate of stomach cancer, Dr. Dogs are being used to detect it before it's too late. Their sense of smell is so much more sensitive than ours. We, we have about 6 million olfactory receptors. Dogs have 300 million. They can smell in parts per trillion, which is like a tablespoon of a substance in the equivalent of two Olympic-sized swimming pools. After seeing these examples, you may think you could benefit from your own Dr. Dog. There are a lot of great organizations out there, and they produce really good dogs. There are some organizations out there that are really well-meaning. They might produce good dogs. They may not. They try. And then there are some, there have been some, that are just out there to make a buck. So for people who could use some help managing a medical condition, doing a bit of homework can help find the perfect companion. Lori Johnson, CBN News.